Yo, 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 CPA Strength here back again with his best accounting video ever. Please slap the heck out of that like button. Get the likes up, please. I will be uh, sending cookies in the mail. I'll send another, another cookie if you leave a comment. Comment, comment, I'll give you two cookies. And if you subscribe, I'll give you three cookies. So you can get a total of six cookies. But anyways, this is Accounting for Beginners number 138 I have 137 other videos maybe more if you look over here to this playlist over here best accounting playlist in the world well let's get right into this here this is gonna be pe about petty cash and this is a comment I got a few days ago so look I'm gonna use my techie over here use my techie techie <laughs> So thanks, for, thanks Angela for sending the um, comment, the question in. Thank you very much. I'm trying to get to other questions as well. Hope everyone's learning a lot this accounting season or whatever class you're in or the reason why you're watching Accounting for Beginners. She sa Angela says, can you do a video on petty cash? On petty cash. Beta Company established a $170 petty cash fund on June 8th, 2019. On June 30th, 2019, the fund was reimbursed and increased by $25 when it had $55 remaining in cash and receipts for these expenditures. Repairs, $27.25. Staff events, $33.25. Conference calls, $27.25. And postage, $21.31. What's, what's petty cash? I get petty cash. My understanding is, you know, you have you have actual dollars. Uh, some of you people may never seen a dollar, but you have actual dollars, cash dollars, and you have a little box. You know, the secretary, the secretary, or whatever, uh, will pull pull it out and and pay cash for certain certain things. I don't know how much it's actually used these days, but if you have petty cash, why would you use it for a conference call? Like, who are you paying for the conference call? So let's say what is what is petty what is petty cash? And I'm going to do it along with. Balance sheets over here. We all know I usually just say cash. I usually just have cash. I always say do the cash do the cash I always say um, you know do the cash first. So by this time this time You know you should know and, and if anything, I'm not explaining clearly Please go back into the playlist because I you know do very simple uh, Videos on certain things but cash is a cash is an asset now I usually just say cash and that could really that could that could be any kind of cat. That could be anything like a checking account. It could actually be real cash. It could be a debit card. It could be all different types of, I guess, securities. You know, I usually just write cash. But this time I'm more specific. Instead of cash, I have checking account, and that's probably what I should put more often. Because more often than not, it's a checking account. You know, at the bank. But petty cash is. Just cash in the green greenbacks form, like the actual dollar dollar bill, y'all dollar dollar bill. So I'm start I'm starting off on this balance sheet here. Assets with checking account of a thousand dollars. We're just gonna say that they haven't done a transaction all year. So this is from the, this is the beginning of the year, and we haven't done a transaction until six eight nineteen is when they put money in into the petty cash. And I'm gonna just assume that they're taking money from the checking account and put it into the petty cash account. So we'll do that. Anyways, you're starting with checking account. We'll start with a thousand dollars in there. That's an asset. Checking account's an asset. Petty cash, an as petty cash is an asset. We're starting with zero. So we have a thousand dollars of assets. And the balance sheet is assets equal liabilities plus equity. Over here in my DC Adler. I didn't even do five minutes in. I didn't talk about DC Adler. Oh my God. Debits, credits, asset, draw expense, liabilities, equity, revenue. If they're going up, if they're not, if they're decreasing, you mirror flip them. So assets equal thousand dollars equal. We don't have any liabilities, so we're not even gonna worry about that. Equity, we have retained earnings of a thousand dollars, retained from last year, and we have no net income. So equity is a thousand dollars. So they equal. So let's do our first journal entry. Let's do it. Let's do a. I'm not really sure uh, like what there was no really question of what the answer is going to so I'm just saying we'll just do some journal entries on what, how I think it would be everything like that but I guess 
you would want to know basically that petty cash is an asset account you know under checking account under savings account uh you know these would be these would be current assets you know you'd also what other uh, other assets accounts receivable loan to somebody would be an asset because it's coming back assets are things that are future economic benefits for you so the first one here um they established a 170 dollars petty cash fund on june 8th so 170 dollars established a 170 dollars petty cash fund but we're doing lighting on the fly 500 video we're doing lighting on the fly here is that any better uh, hopefully that's better. I just couldn't handle that anymore. So, if the assets are going up, which petty cash is an asset, you would debit that. An asset, it's going up, you debit it for $170. So now it has $170 in it. Petty cash has $170. And we're going to say we're taking it out of the checking account. So if the checking account had $1,000 in it, or if you're taking money out of it, you're gonna have less. And if uh, checking account's an asset, if an asset has less in it, if it's decreasing, if it goes up, you debit it, but it's decreasing in, the, in this, for our checking account, it's decreasing, so we credit it. So we're gonna put checking account, 170. And there's our journal entry for that, to get $170 in our petty cash account. What, what's, ha what's, happening on the, what's happening on the balance sheet here? We just have, we have two things. We have two asset accounts here. We have the checking account reducing by $170. We're a mess right now, people. We're a mess, but we're going to keep going. So you have $830 over here in the checking account, and now the petty cash went up by $170 because it didn't have any in at all. Now it has $170. So our assets are at $1,000 equals liability zero plus equity. Retained earnings, equities, retained earnings, and net income, they didn't change anything. The only thing that changed from this journal entry, because you got to think, what what is this? Petty cash is an asset. So it's going to change on the balance sheet. This journal entry is going to make the balance sheet change for this account. Also, checking account, asset. Now, what's the next, what's the next date here? On June 30th, the fund was reimbursed and increased by $25.00 when it had $55 remaining in cash and receipts for these expenditures. So let's do the journal entries for these expenditures here. You know, expenditures, I don't, I don't want to get you scared here. Or what, like, what's an expenditure? I think it's usually for government accounting. I'm not sure, maybe this is a government entity. I don't know. Uh, but I would just say expenditures and expenses are basically the same thing. Got that low fee beats in the background for you, so you don't hear the air conditioner. <laughs> mm, chilled cow. Yeah, I went to get my phone fixed the other day. They were playing this. I said, this sounds familiar. Out of all this, there's thousands of stations on YouTube, right? Shout out to low fee beats. Shout out, shout, and shout out to the girl. Shout out to the girl just studying and the cat in the window, right? Shout out to all of them. Repairs twenty seven twenty five. Now this is an expense. In uh, in the chart of accounts, we'd have we'd have an account for repairs. Staff events thirty three twenty five. Conference calls twenty seven twenty five. And our last expense coming out of our petty pettiness cash is postage twenty one thirty one. All right, fam, we back. So the four expenses need to equal $115 because it says there's $55 remaining. So if you started with $170 on petty cash and used up $115, then you have $55 left. But the four, the four expenses that uh, Angela, Angela gave us here came up to $11.06. So that didn't come out to that. So I added coffee for $5.94 for another expense. So our expenses came out to $115. So we can keep going with this problem. So if we got $115 with all these expenses, these five expenses, these are all expenses, go in the respective, respective 
expense accounts. <clears throat> so it came out of the petty that came out of the petty cash account. So we have less we have less money in our petty cash account. What is pe what is petty cash? Petty cash is an asset. If we have less if we have if we're lessening an asset account, that means we're going to credit it. So we're going to credit petty cash of $115. And you see that how we usually, a lot of times when we do journal, I do journal entries for s simplistic, we usually have one debit, one credit. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can have, we have five debits in this case, one credit. You can have five credits, one debit. You can have 20 debits, one credit. It does, that's not one of the rules. What, what are really the rules that debits have to, have to equal credits? Debits have to equal credits and a debit is neither good nor bad. That's really the, the general rules of it. So we have debits of 115 equaling credits of 115. What do, so what do we have, what does, that do to, what does that do to our balance sheet? Well, we have $115 less of, uh, less of petty cash. So that's gonna, that's gonna affect our balance sheet here. That's gonna affect the petty cash account. So let's do that. We're gonna have 115. So it was 170 minus 115. So we have $55 in our petty cash account. So we have total assets now in our two accounts of 885. What does that what does that do? What does that do for our equity? Well, net income it changes because we had a hundred. Net income is revenue minus expenses off the income statement right here on our DC Adler, revenue minus expenses. And we had we just had five expenses, we didn't make any money. So it revenue zero minus expenses of $115. So our net income is a negative $115. And the net income uh, kind of flows flows over to equity in the net income. So we have a hundred negative 115 here net income. So our equity is retained earnings still a thousand because we don't have a new year yet. 885. dollars is our uh, liability equity. Now it now it says what well 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 Bobby let's see what it says. Well all right, we're gonna leave those down there. We're gonna just we're just gonna rock out with the black one for now. I want to leave those down there. Propane, propane accessories, Bobby. The fund was reimbursed and increased by twenty-five dollars. Reimbursed and increased. So reimbursed. So we got to get to our original one hundred and seventy. Increased by twenty-five dollars. Our petty cash, our petty cash is going to be a hundred and ninety-five dollars. So if it's fifty, fifty-five, fifty-five dollars, we're going to need a hundred and forty dollars to to replenish it, increase it um, by twenty-five dollars. So let's do it. Let's do a journal entry. Let's get. We're going to get rid of these journal entries here. I didn't say what date they did. Are they, did they do that on the second date? I'm not sure what date. So we're gonna add. We're gonna add 140 dollars to the petty cash account. Uh, now we. That was gonna be very similar to the very first drill entry we did. Now, petty cash is an asset account. If you're adding, if you're increasing an asset account, do you debit or do you credit it? I don't know. Let's look. Uh, asset increasing. You debit it. So we're going to do petty cash. This is going to be our debit for one hundred and forty dollars, and it's going to. It's it came out of came out of our checking account. So our checking account is an asset. Uh, it it is decreasing because it's coming out of that account. So if you have an asset that is. Increasing debit, it, but we're decreasing, so we're going to credit it. Increase debit, decrease credit. 
So we're gonna have checking account. Checking account, credit for one forte. And there's pretty much the, pro the question, the problem, the answer, except, let's see what this does to our balance sheet. Now we just have two, two cash accounts again. So if we add, if we, if we added $140, $140 to petty cash, 140 plus 55, let's see what's our balance sheet, that's 195. Where am I? Oh, my blue is down here. My blue is down there. So 195. And if we took 140, reduced it from our checking account, we'd have six, 690. Doing the math on the fly here, 690. So I didn't change the total. I didn't, 690 plus 195 equals 885. Did, didn't change our liabilities and equity at all either. Um, uh, let me tell you, if, uh, let me ask you if you liked this format, where I do the jerk, where I do the questions. I think you do like the questions, although it didn't exactly work out the way I thought it would, or there wasn't really much of a question, but I thought it'd be fun to do. And I know at least helping one person I personally think it's helpful to, after every transaction, go over what happens to the the balance the balance sheet, <clears throat> and and so you can kind of see that every every journal entry, whatever category it's coming from, it's going to have an effect on said account, and that's either going to have an effect on the balance sheet or the income statement or both. Anyways, if you have made it this far. Please tell me you watched the entire thing because you are the very true MVP of this video. So I hope I get a couple of those a couple of those comments here. I don't know how many I'll get, but if I do get one, just just put in the comments. I'll give you five cookies for that. If you tell me you've been here the whole video, I'll give you 10 cookies. Next day delivery. Next day delivery, 10 cookies. Anyways, until next time, this is CPA Strength, and I'm out. Deuces.